This is DJ, and he's going to talk to us about racial stereotypes. What's up, guys? Um, I'm DJ, and before we get started, I'm going to show you guys this video clip. From now on, I too will be abstinent. I'll be as untouched as the turn signal in an Asian woman's car. How much signal I need to cut across eight lanes? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. Return to Japanese girls think small versions of things are really cute. Okay, so <laughs> the reason I showed you guys that funny little video clip, well, if you guys think that's funny, let's start off with this. Any of you guys get offended by that video? I mean, because it talked about all races and... Yes. Yes? Yes, okay. And so that's racial stereotype, which gets promoted through media. And before we get started, this is the definition of a stereotype, which is a widely held but fixed and oversimplified image or idea of a particular type of a person or thing. So stereotypes throughout media play an important role in society and they're found everywhere. So, but stereotypes can also have a positive or negative uh, aspect and that could be that they are used throughout propaganda. And what is propaganda? Propaganda is a force that can influence and affect everyone throughout like such as by their behavior or attitude or their beliefs. So so a positive use of a stereotype would be, or use of propaganda would be that um, a sports writer from Sports Illustrated talk, uh, surveyed professional um, teams in 2008, and he figured that while 13% of the nation's population is black, 80% of the players in the National Basketball Association are, and 67 of the players in NFL are also black. So what that tells is that the um, Sports media uses highlights in like the NFL and NBA to show that um, black athletes are the dominant throughout the sports, and then it, and that's basically a positive aspect for um, the players itself because it shows that they're good. And a negative aspect of stereotypes would be that Family Guy video I showed you guys. I mean, and then personal story I'd like to share with you guys is like when I first came to America I had a tough time myself like I had a turban and everything and people really didn't really treat me like I really belonged there because it was around the time 9-11 uh, happened and it also happened to me again around eighth grade where um, I was just new to Fishers and I didn't really know any people and they figured I was Indian and this one girl in my Spanish class she goes she's like I don't want to sit with that student because I think he smells like curry even though it didn't smell like curry and that's one of the common stereotypes people use throughout school but and they get that from the use of media through shows such as Family Guy or The Simpsons and 
A question I want to ask you guys before I end this presentation is, would you, uh, would you be okay with someone thinking the same way about your ethnicity as they interpret it through media? So I want you guys to think about that while I end this presentation. Thanks. <laughs>